Welcome back to our channel, folks. Imagine lifting more than 200 kilograms above your head, a feat so astonishing, it defied what was thought possible in human strength. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most groundbreaking moments in sports history. Weightlifting, as a competitive sport, has roots that extend far into antiquity. However, modern weightlifting found its groove in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, when the sport began to be standardized. It made its debut at the Athens Olympics in 1896, but women didn't participate until the Sydney 2000 Olympics. Prior to the 1960s, weightlifting was largely dominated by nations such as the United States, France, and Germany. Countries like Egypt also made their mark in the lighter weight classes. Iconic athletes like John Davis of the United States and Paul Anderson were widely regarded as masters of the art. John Davis was a two-time Olympic champion, 1948 and 1952, and a six-time world champion, unbeaten in international competitions for over 15 years. Paul Anderson was known for his incredible raw strength and won the Olympic gold in Melbourne in 1956. Their accomplishments had set incredibly high standards for the sport. The Soviet Union entered the arena of Olympic sports with a calculated and robust approach, aiming not just for participation, but for dominance. After the Second World War, the Soviet Union recognized the importance of sports as a medium for international prestige. Weightlifting was identified as one of the sports in which they could build a strong program. During the Cold War era, sports were more than just games. They were a battleground for ideological supremacy. By the 1950s, the Soviet Union had established a structured system for identifying and nurturing athletic talent. This system included intensive training camps, state-of-the-art facilities, and scientific approaches to athlete development. The state also provided full-time salaries to athletes, allowing them to focus solely on training and performance. Weightlifting, along with other Olympic sports, received significant attention and investment. However, entering a field dominated by nations with established programs and star athletes was no small feat. Initially, Soviet weightlifters faced multiple challenges including lack of experience in international competitions and gaps in technical expertise. Despite these hurdles, the Soviet Union made a remarkable debut in weightlifting at the Helsinki Olympics in 1952, winning one gold and two silver medals. This was a sign of things to come. In the following years, they continued to refine their techniques, learn from their mistakes, and set new records at various international competitions. Athletes like Arkady Vorobiev, who won the middle heavyweight gold medals in both the 1956 Melbourne and 1960 Rome Olympics, helped set the stage for the unprecedented achievements that would come later. The Soviet weightlifting program was gradually catching up to the world leaders and was ready to make a lasting impact. This stage was perfectly set for Yuri Vlasov to take the spotlight at the 1960 Rome Olympics, where he would do more than just win, he would redefine what was considered possible in the sport of weightlifting. Born on December 5, 1935 in Mekievka, Donetsk Oblast, which was then part of the Ukrainian SSR, Yuri Vlasov grew up in an era defined by the hardships of World War II and its aftermath. His father was a military officer, and his family was deeply patriotic. Young Yuri was captivated by sports from an early age, initially showing promise in various athletic disciplines such as running and jumping. However, it was weightlifting that eventually consumed his interest. Vlasov's early forays into weightlifting were marked by his raw power and innate talent, but he was also deeply committed to refining his technique. In the late 1950s, he joined a weightlifting club in Moscow, where he gained access to better training facilities and coaching. Under the guidance of experienced mentors, he began to harness his power and fine-tune his lifting techniques, setting his sights on national and international competitions. By the late 1950s, Yuri Vlasov had started making a name for himself in the Soviet weightlifting circuit. In national competitions, he often outclassed competitors who had more experience but less raw power and agility. His unique combination of speed, power, and flawless technique quickly gained him recognition and he soon became a rising star in the Soviet sports world. Internationally, he had lesser experience but showed significant promise. In 1959, he won a gold medal at the World Weightlifting Championships, signaling his readiness for the Olympic stage. It was clear that Vlasov had both the physical and mental attributes to excel at the highest levels, and the expectations were mounting for his performance in the upcoming 1960 Rome Olympics. Despite his burgeoning reputation, Vlasov faced multiple challenges in the lead-up to the Rome Olympics. 
One of the significant challenges was the immense pressure of representing the Soviet Union during the Cold War era, where every medal was seen as a validation of the competing ideologies of the US and the Soviet Union. Vlasa was not just lifting weights, he was in many ways, lifting the aspirations of an entire nation. The weightlifting event at the 1960 Rome Olympics was already electric with anticipation by the time Yuri Vlasov took the stage. Vlasov, representing the Soviet Union, had been excellent in the earlier phases of the competition. But what he was about to attempt was beyond anything that had been accomplished before, a clean and jerk lift of over 200 kilograms. As he approached the barbell, there was a sense of collective breath-holding, both in the crowd and among the competitors. He squatted, lifting the barbell from the floor in a clean motion and catching it on his front deltoids in a squat position. The crowd gasped as he rose powerfully, bringing himself and the barbell to a standing position. But the most challenging part was it to come, the jerk. With a swift and powerful movement, Vlasov thrust the barbell upwards, extending his arms fully while splitting his legs into a lunge position. For a brief moment, time seemed to freeze as Vlasov, the barbell, and the weight of history hung suspended in midair. Then, with a final, triumphant motion, Vlasov straightened his legs, bringing his feet together and securing the lift. The impossible had been achieved, a clean and jerk of over 200 kilograms. After the Rome Olympics, Yuri Vlasov's career continued to flourish. He defended his world title in the subsequent years and set multiple world records in various categories. Though he could not replicate his gold-winning performance at the 1964 Tokyo Olympics, settling for silver, his reputation as a weightlifting legend was firmly established. Vlasov also took on a role in sports diplomacy, especially at a time when sports were a metaphor for geopolitical rivalries. He became a celebrated figure not just in the Soviet Union but also internationally, symbolizing the spirit of competition and the pursuit of excellence. His sportsmanship and respect for competitors, regardless of nationality, made him a beloved figure even among rivals. Vlasov's groundbreaking lift in Rome had a ripple effect that extended far beyond his own career. It shifted the paradigm of what was considered possible, giving rise to a new generation of weightlifters who now had a new benchmark to aim for. Training methods were analyzed and modified, with many adopting Vlasov's techniques and practices. In the Soviet Union and its successor states, Vlasov became the gold standard for aspiring weightlifters. His legacy lived on in the achievements of future Soviet and Russian champions who dominated the sport for decades. His focus on the scientific aspects of training, as well as the psychological preparation for major events, became integral components of weightlifting programs worldwide. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the life and legacy of Yuri Vlasov. If this story inspired you as much as it did us, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends.